Here we are, beautiful St. Mark's, Florida. Oh yeah, we're gonna catch some fish. Before we go camping tonight, hopefully we can catch fish and crabs and have a sweet campfire cookout. What is it? A cucumber bee. Bee? Oh no. Since we only have the two kayaks, Lucas gets the two person boat. The old vessel is still working. So we're gonna get this in the water too. That way Lucas can just tow behind me or Dylan. Disaster has struck again, guys, again. We got everything down here all set up, ready to go with the kayaks. And we don't have the kayak paddles, no paddles. And it's all Dylan's fault. So we're gonna have to make do with fishing and crabbing from shore here, guys. Let's see if we can do something. From the shore. All right, we got some delicious chicken leg quarters. We're throwing them in the pots. Hopefully the crabs will not be able to resist this deliciousness that we're gonna feed them. Dylan's setting the first pot right now. What's Lucas doing? Can I go through the grass? Alright, trap one is in. Alright, we're going to set trap number two. Not too far away. Looks like some nice rocks here on the bottom. I'm not going to get this one very far at all. Because I think they're going to come out of these rocks and feast. We're fishing. A mullet. I think I saw a mullet already. So we're just out past those rocks. Oh, how are you going? Come on. All right, the traps are in. You'll have to use that stick as a paddle. All right, they're going to try to make do with a broomstick for a paddle. Pretty sweet yacht you got. They got a polling stick at least, so they can go in a couple feet of water, explore the area a little bit while the traps are soaking, but I'm gonna start fishing while they're doing that. I'm gonna cast trusty old gold spoon there. See if we can't catch a redfish or a trout real quick on this beautiful day. Come on, redfish. I know we're gonna catch some crabs. We gotta catch some crabs with chicken. Crabs love chicken. You're splashing a lot, dude. Woo, that was a big mullet. Guess the boat's working pretty good. So the kayaks are just sitting here on the shore. Can't use them. Wasted all that effort. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna wait out straight out from right here. See if I can't catch one right out there. Oh, uh, what happened? You stepped on the rock? Are you barefooted? No, my knee. Uh, he hit his knee, guys. He's injured. Which knee? Which knee? Yep, we're about to pull the traps, guys. All right, be careful of rocks. Shuffle your feet so you don't trip over a rock. All right, Dylan's gonna pull the first trap. Here we go, guys, trap number one. Trap number one coming up. Come on, blue crabs, be in there. Be in there. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, no. 
O for one. That's not good. No, L for one. It's deeper than it was when we Can set I the step traps. On it? Okay, I'm right in front of the trap, so go ahead and start pulling it. It's right there, but you can grab the buoy and pull it out. Come on, crabs. Yes, yes, we got one. Yeah. Oh, and there's a, is that a horseshoe crab? No, it's a horseshoe crab. All right, that's a good keeper blue crab right there, guys. Yes. You set it down now. One for two. Oh, oh. There's, a hermit crab. there's a hermit crab in there also. <laughs> one for two. All right. Well, this is good. We got one. All right. So we're not skunked. We are not skunked. But that means we're probably going to have to stop and get some more crabs because last time we cooked one, it wasn't enough. It was not enough. All right. Whoa. There was a rock I almost fell on. Trap number three coming up. Ah, oh, just hermit crabs. <laughs> hermit crabs only, guys. Let me see it, Lucas. I'm getting the one that had the crab. Yep, just a couple of hermits. Definitely not the target species here. All right, fish heads. No luck today. The fish just were not active at all. So we're just going to head home, get the campsite set up do some unbelievable cooking over the campfire. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get home. As usual, setting up in the dark. We've done it so many times. We always get out here a little bit too late and we're setting everything up in the dark. But we've got a fire going. Lucas is tending to that. We got our stuff spread out, the tent set up for Lucas. And Dylan and I are using the hammocks again. I got the camo one. Dylan's got the green one. He's already in the hammock. But let's go ahead and start cooking up some food. We got rotisserie chicken, or fire roasted chicken at least. And we got crawfish. All right, the crab's been going for a couple minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the Louisiana crawfish into the boil. Oh yeah, big old crawfish. Those are some good looking ones. Fire's almost ready for cooking. Just letting the last few bits of pine burn off. We used pine to start it because it burns hard and fast and hot. Gets the fire going real good, but not good to cook over. So we got the fire going, got some coals. Now we got some oak logs on there and we're gonna cook this chicken over oak. All right, I made up a batch of our chicken the fish head chicken seasoning. It's a fresh batch of it. Gonna go ahead and just sprinkle this all over the chicken. I don't know how well this stick is gonna work. It's bowing pretty good here. Look at this bow. So I'm gonna flip it and season the other side. Woo! It doesn't seem to wanna cooperate here, guys. That should be ready. Let's go ahead and put it over the fire. I think this is going to work out just fine. We'll just have to make sure we keep the fire the right distance from the chicken. But it should cook in like 30, 45 minutes. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's going to be amazing. The crab is really, really good, guys. You can taste that Old Bay on it. Mixing the Old Bay and the Cajun is definitely money. It's so good. And of course, the crawfish are great. Success on that crab for sure. The crab just has a like a natural sweetness to it, but the crawfish, it's just meaty and it absorbs the flavors of the seasoning so well. The sweetness of the crab, I think, puts it on a different level than crawfish, but I'll take either one any day of the week, guys. All right, I think we're about ready. Let's take this off and give it a taste test. I can't wait. Ooh. Oh, I licked my finger after pushing it off the stick. And even that was amazing. You gotta let this cool down for a couple minutes though. Way too hot to eat. Skin's nice and crispy. Try to get a little chunk of dark meat off here so we can get the full flavor of it.
Yep, skin is amazing. So good. All right, let's give a little bit of the dark meat a taste test here. Super tender, moist, and flavorful. Fish head seasoning works. Wow, that is good. Say a pretty successful day other than not catching any fish. Sometimes that's just how it goes. Maybe we'll catch a big fish in the next video, guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it. Do it. Hit the subscribe button. We got a bunch of really cool stuff coming up soon. Don't want to miss that. But thanks for joining us, guys. Had a great day. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. But y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. Ah, oh, that seagull had fishing lines stuck on it.